So I want us to look at uh, a calculation where we can calculate uh, the pH of something. So now that we know in an equation, we've, cal we've seen sulfuric acid in water, but how do I calculate the pH of sulfuric acid in water? Or maybe a base in water? So I have a question for you here. And the question says we need to calculate, we need to calculate the pH of a solution Calculate the pH of, of a solution of nitric, of nitric acid, and it has a concentration, it has a concentration of 0 0.02 moles per cubic decimeter. Now, when you start getting into equations, it's very important. Sometimes they do give you a reaction. Sometimes they don't give you a reaction. They just give it to you in words. And the first thing that you need to do is first derive the reaction, balance the reaction or the equation, and then you can start answering. So where, where it's necessary, I'm going to show you how we come uh, or how we get the equation based on what we did in grade, in grade 10. And then we're going to start answering the question. But in this case, it's very straight and forward. They've given us nitric acid with a concentration of 0.02 moles per cubic decimeter. Now, how do we do this, Tops? If we have nitric acid, I'm somewhere going to show you. Nitric acid is one of those papers your teacher gave you and said, oh my word, my darlings, please learn these words off by heart. It's one of those ones. Fortunately, you don't find it on the periodic table. So it is something that you must know off by heart. But what happens here? Remember, nitric acid, according to Lowry Brownstead theory, it will donate an H plus, and this will become NO3. To show that I've lost an H plus, this becomes a minus. This H plus will attach itself to the water molecule. Ooh, which color am I using? So now I'm gonna have NO3 minus plus H3O plus. And according to Arrhenius' theory, acids will form the H3O plus in water. So now, but we need to calculate the, um, we need to calculate pH. Now, when we're calculating pH, because H or nitric acid will dissociate completely, I can then say the H3O plus is equal to the HNO3, which have a concentration of 0 0.02 mole dm3. Remember, when we're calculating pH, we have to find H3OP. Remember, when we calculate pH, we have pH is equal to negative log and the concentration of the H3O+. Plus. Now, because our HNO3 dissociated completely, we can then say that the concentration of this is an equal to the concentration of that, and they've given us the moles in which it is. Then I, I like doing long, the long way around. I'm going to have H3O plus on this side, which has 0 0.02 mole dm3. This just shows your examiner that you know that these two are equal, therefore you are identifying that then this, this means H3O plus will also have the same moles. But we're not done, they want pH. I'm gonna always put the formula for pH. Remember guys, when you are actually doing an equation, you get a mark for using the correct formula. So make sure you do write your formulas. We know you have them and all that stuff, but your examiners want to see you know which formula you're using. I'm gonna use negative log. Remember the solid brackets to show that it's the concentration of the H3O plus. Now they told us that it has the concentration of 0 0.2, 0, 0.02. Let's put this on our calculator and see what we get. So I'm gonna say negative log 0 0.02, close my bracket, and then I get, now this is not very tricky, but most of you guys make this, this mistake. I've got 1.698 if I'm not lying. But now, you can't leave the 8 out and leave it as 1.69. Remember, in grade 5, they taught us how to round off to the nearest 10. So in this case, our 9 will change the 6 to a 7, and the 9 will become a 0. And that's how we round off. So I'm going to have 1.70. Do not make that mistake. Also make sure 
Sometimes in an exam, they might trick you a little bit, you know, add a little bit of spice to the question and the, the examiner will ask you, please round off to the near, to two decimal places or to only one decimal place. If you do round off to two decimal places, like how Tobile has rounded off here, unfortunately, you might even suffer from negative marking. So make sure you read your questions correctly. In your final exam, when they give you those 15 minutes of reading time, make sure you read everything, you see all the traps and all the booby traps that they have for you there and you do not miss make those mistakes. Trust me, it's the same thing over and over again. They might just spice it up here and there, but do not make silly mistakes like rounding off to the wrong number, right? And pH does not have um, a value or a scale, but one thing I want to show you here, when we talk about pH, right, just to confirm that nitric acid is an acid and to see that your pH value is correct. Remember, zero, anything close to zero is very acidic. Ooh, it's very, very acidic. And then in the middle here, we will have seven, which means it's neutral. At the far end, we have 14, which means it's basic, right? Now, anything close to zero is very acidic. Anything close to 14 is very basic. Anything here is very neutral. Now you can imagine if we have, now this is not drawn to scale, but hypothetically speaking, if my um, nitric acid pH is lying there by 1.07. This means nitric acid is very, very, very potent because it's so close to zero. Very, very far from seven, but very, very close to zero, meaning that it's quite and pretty potent. 